Grand Rapids police have been stymied in their search for a man connected to a March double homicide. And while they're seeking help nationwide for this case, there are other homicides that remain unsolved. News 8's Barton Dieters is here with a look at these cases. Barton. Well, Brian and Sue, at 10 homicides so far this year, Grand Rapids has exceeded the total of nine in 2018, and that's with four months still left to go in this year. GRPD says they are continuing to work and will not give up until they're all solved. Daryl Demon Brown is wanted as a person of interest in the March 13 shooting deaths of 45-year-old Charlotta Baber Bay and 25-year-old Keona Griffin at their home in the 300 block of Sheldon Avenue. The three of them lived at the home where a memorial still stands, but the case remains unsolved as police believe Brown has fled the state, and despite cooperation from police agencies nationwide, he remains at large. This is kind of the perfect example, I guess, of going off the grid. You know, he doesn't use social media. He doesn't have a cell phone that we know of. While the double homicide has gained national attention, there have been eight other homicides throughout the city. So far, police have arrested suspects in three of the cases. Police say they need the help of the community in these cases. Even if someone has heard something third hand, please let us know because you never know what that tip is that, that'll break it wide open. Sergeant Dan Adams has a message for the community. This is how our GRPD detective unit works, is that they are absolutely relentless. Uh, we will use every resource available uh, at our disposal. Uh, we will go across the country. There's a reason that the symbol of a homicide detective is a bulldog, is because we just won't give up. At woodtv.com, we have information on how to contact Sign Observer to provide information anonymously. In studio control, Barton Dieters, News 8.